Now that I've got multiple computers around the house, I've got smart TV, smart TV upstairs, smart TV in the living room, trying to stream only HD content at this point in time, I'm finding the router that was provided by Sky which is a travesty of a router, by the way, an absolute travesty of a router, really ain't cutting the mustard. When I do speed tests, even when I'm right next to the router, bear in mind I've got fiber optic into the house, so I've got 30 meg down, nine meg up, there or thereabouts. I'm actually finding I'm only getting 20 to 22, even when I've got my phone on a speed test right next to the router. So speed test on the desktop, which is of course hardwired into the router via an ethernet connection, you can see just peaking out at about 32 megabits per second, 33, which is what we would expect to see, nine milliseconds on the latency or the ping, and getting just up to about eight megabits per second, which is just about enough to stream in HD. But if we do the same test, on here, bear in mind that we're in the same room as the router at this point in time. It's exactly the same company doing the test supplied by the same organization. So our ping shot up to 16 milliseconds and we're getting just just up to 19 megabits per second. So we've we've lost about 12 megabits per second there just by going over the Wi-Fi. Now the latency, the ping I accept, that's that's the nature of Wi-Fi, but the actual download speed should really be very close given that we're sat in the same room. So I have purchased myself the TP-Link M5 Deco. This is going to create a mesh Wi-Fi network throughout our house and is hopefully going to sort out all of the Wi-Fi drops and poor speed that we're encountering on anything that isn't hardwired. So just upstairs in the boudoir, running the test again. This is the room directly above the study. So what's, in <laughs> what's interesting... Uh, I was about to say we're getting a faster speed up here than we were downstairs, but that now appears not to be true. So marginally higher than 50% of the speed that's actually coming into the house. Ping's not too bad at 14 milliseconds. Uh, and the upload speed's not bad either. But, uh, you know, that's n only really going to be adequate for HD video. It's not going to be adequate for 4K. This is the particularly troublesome spot. I've got, uh, I've got an Amazon Fire Stick and a Google Chromecast tucked behind the telly for streaming. Predominantly YouTube videos, guys. I like to lay on the sofa and do that. And actually, if we run that test and position, position the phone where those devices actually are, you can see, wow, that's dropped down to just over three megabits per second now, just below three megabits per second. That's really the dead spot of the house. And that's really where I need the signal. So hopefully if we position one of the discs on that table, that's gonna sort it all out. Isn't it Mia? So we've got the app downloaded and we're about to begin. So what we'll need, fantastic. We've got all of those, they all came in the box. So we need to power off our modem, remove the backup battery, disconnect your old router from the modem, blah, blah, blah. Plug in your devices, connect the modem to the ethernet port of the deco, power them both on, check your modem. Yeah, I'm going to skip some steps. I'm not going to power down the modem. I'm just going to plug stuff in. What happens if I do that? Wait until the Deco LED pulses blue. This will take less than a minute. That's pulsing blue. Okay, now that's actually doing something now. So let's stop that. Okay, let's get these plugged in.
we've got a blue light which means it's connected to the internet okie dokie so go back to our app just adjust that so you can see it so we go forward next we've done that plug in your devices internet LED is stable Deco's LED is pulsing blue, which it is. <laughs> oh, it's gone orange again. That's interesting. See that? It's gone orange again. It was blue. Now it's gone orange. I wonder why it's done that. We've got a blue connection again. Let's try this again. Staying blue, staying blue. It's found it. Okay, second time's not too bad. It's connected to the deco. Where have we placed this? Office. And you've got <laughs> the normal slick kind of TP link experience that we that we got with the TP plug. Uh, the smart plug, if you saw my review of that. So we're gonna set up our Wi-Fi network. We're going to call it Tau of Tech. And uh, no, I'm not going to show you what the password is. Password set in. Sorry, I didn't share that with you guys. That's creating our Wi Fi network. Complete. You can now connect your devices to this network. So let's add another deco. Uh, yep. Uh, ooh. Find a suitable spot. Decos work best when placed in different rooms. Okay, let's get the next one placed. Okay, Google, play Jay's Two Cents on Tower of Tech Chromecast. Okay, playing Jay's Two Cents from YouTube on Tower of Tech Chromecast. So it's fair to say this thing is absolutely phenomenal. 
Just with two devices downstairs, I was getting 31, 32 meg pretty much throughout the entirety of the house. The only place I couldn't get it was in the shower, which is in one very far flung corner where you would probably never want it. I actually put the third access point upstairs and again I was getting 32 megabit per second download I was getting eight up and actually pretty good ping responses actually anything between 11 to 16 occasionally 18 but they were they were the exceptions not the rule and that that's pretty exceptional given that you've got multiple Wi-Fi devices bouncing off of each other it, the difference it's made to YouTube viewing on the smart telly both upstairs in the boudoir and uh, in the living room is just incredible. It was almost unusable in my living room. You know, you saw the speed test, we were getting one to two megabits per second, which was just dreadful. Absolutely awful. I'm surprised that we were actually able to stream any content to that at all. It's lightning fast, super crisp. My beloved commented upstairs that the picture quality is better. Probably the difference between standard definition and high definition. Uh, and it's just, I think, materially transformed the opportunity that we have for smart homes in this property. So, in the round, the only real negative thing I've got to say about this product is it would have been really nice for there to have been some screw mounting holes on the underside of the access points so you could mount them on the wall or mount them on the ceiling. It's a pretty minor point and something that is easily remedied with some Gorilla Glue or some Gorilla Tape. I'm pretty pleased. I'm pretty impressed. This is a good product and actually it's performed way better than I expected. Best couple of hundred quid that I've spent recently. So there we go guys, it's getting quite late, there's a whole heap of mess here from the work that I've been doing, so I need to get that tidied up. It is a school night, so I've got work tomorrow. So I will bid you good night. I hope you're really well wherever in the world you are. Please like and share this video, and I'll see you in my next one.